In the previous video, we entered the information for each member to be designed or checked. Assuming that appropriate combination load cases have been defined, and that the model has been analyzed, we can now initiate the member design or code check by selecting the desired code from the design menu. We can select from an international list of design codes. In this instance, let's select Eurocode 3. Let's run a code check by choosing Check Mode and then clicking OK. At the end of the check, we can display a color coded representation of the results by clicking the Design Results button on the side toolbar. You can see that all of the members are displayed in green, indicating that they all have passed with load factors greater than 2. By right clicking on a member and selecting Steel Member Design Results from the pop up menu, we can display more detailed results for the member. We can then click on other members to display their results as well. Now let's run the design module again, but this time in design mode rather than check mode. The difference with design mode is that Spacecast will choose the optimal size for each member, rather than only check the size that we specified in the analysis model. At the end of the design, we can choose to let Spacecast update the analysis model with the new design member sizes. Of course, if the analysis model gets updated, we must then rerun the analysis and design phases so that both of them are using the same member sizes. This is an iterative process that, once initiated, will continue automatically until the analysis and design member sizes agree. Once again, we can check the final results by turning on the color coded display. Or by querying any of the members in the model. or by generating a design report. The report delivers a summary of the results, followed by a detailed report for each design member. The Steel Member Design Procedure is explained in further detail in the Steel Member Design videos.